All right, guys, today is section three in note packet nine. Uh, this is the line joining two distinct points on the graph. And really, this is going to be kind of combining other sections together into one problem. Uh, exercise one says find at least three solutions to the equation y equals 2x. And we've really, we've done that before. All right, we've had this little table before, and we've come up with some values for x that we plug in, and we figured out what y is. And then the next thing says graph them on the coordinate plane. So we've done that before as well. And then calculate the slope of the line. So we're really taking uh, two or three different things and uh, just putting them together in one problem. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's pick some real easy numbers here for, for x. Let's just plug in a 0 and plug in a 1 and plug in a 4. All right. Uh, I could take other numbers, but uh, those are just the ones I chose. We usually put the equation in there and then we just plug in what the value for x is we just plug it in for x and 2 times 0 well that's 0 so when x is 0 y is 0 all right and that gives me uh, a point that I can graph and I'm going to do the same thing for the other values for x oops I want to put a 2 there I'm going to put a 2 there and that's going to give me a 2 so when uh, x is 1 y is 2 so that's going to be 1 comma 2 and I'm going to plug in a 4, all right, just like I did in the others. And I actually get an 8 there. All right, so those are three points that I could graph. So I go over here, and this is my x-axis, and this is my y-axis. And I'm going to plot those points, 0, 0, 1, comma, 2, and 4, comma, 8 is going to be right there, all right? Um, if I were to plug in some other points, I could get, or other values for x, I could get more points. Uh, both they just wanted us to do three, so there's three points, and again, I'm going to make it the best straight line that I can here. And I'm going to put my arrows on each end, and there you go. So we've graphed it. Uh, we want to do the slope. Remember your equation for slope looks like this, y2 over, or y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. All right, and I go over here and I have three points that I can choose from. Well, it really doesn't matter which points you choose. I'm going to take uh, the first one here. I'm going to take 0, 0, because that one is probably be pretty easy to, to deal with. All right, and I'm going to take this one. Okay, so I'm going to use this as point 1. And I'm going to use this as point 2. And I'm going to plug in an 8 for y sub 2 and a 0 for y sub 1. And I'm going to plug in a 4 and a 0 there. And I'm just going to do the math. So 8 over 4. Okay, so easy enough. So my slope in this case is a 2. Now I want you to notice something, and I'm gonna, we're going to talk about this later. Notice that the slope came out to be that number that was right in front of the x there, all right? That, that is not a coincidence. That's going to happen uh, all the time as long as it's in a certain form. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Okay, guys, so here is exercise two, and they're asking us to do the same thing. They've given us another equation. And they want it to. They want us to plug in some x's and graph it, and then calculate the slope. So, I'm um, again. I'm just going to pick some values for x. I'm going to take. Oh, let's take negative two this time, and let's take zero, and then let's take positive two. All right. So I'm going to plug in a negative two and a zero and a two everywhere I see an x. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and write these in. And do that. Okay, and then I just have to do the math for each one of these. Uh, let's see, 3 times negative 2, that's going to give me a negative 6. And I take away 1, that's going to give me a negative 7. Alright, so there's one of the points I'm going to graph. And another one here is going to be negative 1. So that's going to be that point and this one is going to give me 3 times 2 minus 1 that's going to be a 5 so there's my three points that I'm going to graph so I'm going to go over here and label my x and my y and 
then I'm going to graph them. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to be that point right there. Zero, negative one is right there, and two, comma, five is right there, and these should line up. Let's draw the best straight line that I can. Yeah, that one was pretty good. All right, so there you go. I, I plugged in three x's, got the points, graphed it. Now I just want to figure out the slope. So I plug in to my same equation here. Here's my equation for slope. And again, I just pick uh, two of these points that I'm going to use. I always like to use the ones with the zero. I don't know why. All right, and then I'll take uh, this one as well. Okay, it doesn't matter which two. So we're just going to take that one. So. Uh, there's your two y values over here, and here's my two x values over here. Okay, these two, they kind of line up. And so I'm going to take uh, 5 minus a negative 1. There's my two y values, I'm subtracting them. And then I'm going to go uh, 2 minus 0. Now that really is 5 plus 1. And 2 minus 0, obviously it's just 2. So my slope is going to be 5, no, sorry, not 5, that's going to be 6 over 2, all right, which, again, I can reduce it if I, if I can, I can reduce it, that's going to be a 3. And like I mentioned before, notice that 3, notice it is that number right before the x, all right, and we're going to discuss that in a minute, all righty? So let me let me turn on uh, the next part right underneath that in your packet you have these words here it says notice notice that with each of the above examples the slope turns out to be the number before the x all right which it did right here we got a little arrow there all right this will always happen with a linear equation as long as you put the equation in the form y equals mx plus b okay I'm trying to underline there we go all right now this guy is going to be really important to us in the future so keep this guy in mind and notice we use an m for the slope and notice we have an m right in front of that letter x okay and again we're going to use that much more in the future in fact the next exercise let me turn these off turn this next one on and the next exercise says put the equation 9x minus 3y equals 15 into the form y equals mx plus b, all right? So all that means is I'm looking at this equation right here. Let me turn that on, there we go. I look at this equation right here and I wanna put it in the form so that it looks like that. And in this form, I have y all by itself. So I need to take this equation and I need to get y all by itself, all right? So first of all, I've gotta move this 9x. I've got to move it to the other side. So that's a positive 9x. And I'm going to subtract 9x on both sides of the equation. We've done this many times. All right. So this negative 3y comes down. And I get, uh, what do I get? Uh, 5 minus 9x. Now, it tells me, it says I want it in the form y equals mx plus b. Well, my, my y isn't all by itself yet. So this negative 3 is being multiplied by the y, so I'm going to divide by negative 3, which means I do it on the other side as well. So these negative 3s, these negative 3s are going to cancel. And there I've got y by itself over there. And, well, 5 divided by negative 3, well, that's not going to be a very pretty number, so I'm just going to leave it like a fraction. And negative 9 divided by negative 3, well, that's positive 3 x so oh it, it's much closer now okay it's much closer but not quite there if you notice here it has the m and the x comes first before this other number so i'm just going to take this i'm not doing algebra i'm just going to take this and because of the commutative property i can then switch these two around and i can make it look like this all right so this equation is the same as this equation now I'm going to switch colors here. Now, notice I have y. I have my equal sign. There's my slope. All right, so it states the slope. Well, the slope is always m, and that, that uh, 3 is right before the x, just like the m is. There's the x. 
Now this is a plus sign and that's a minus sign, but that's okay. The, that, that could mean plus a minus, so that's okay. We have some kind of operation going on here and then a number. So this line right here, or this equation, I should say, uh, is in the form y equals mx plus b. All right, and I know now that is my slope. Okay, so you're going to have some problems tomorrow that will ask you to simply put an equation in the form y equals mx plus b. And that's all we want you to do. We just want you to solve for y and make sure that the other, other side of the equation has the x term first and the uh, regular old number has that, that comes next. All right. Okay, now let's try exercise four. Now this one is a little different. It's a little more wordy. Uh, we don't have the graph, so we don't have to graph anything. It says, Miss Reinhardt is filling up a beaker. She can pour her, oh, her, she can pour her, oh, that should say her. She can pour her chemical in at 30 milliliters in three minutes. Now, we're used to seeing those kind of words, and we always write those as a ratio. And it says, even it says, it says, assume she pours at a constant rate. So, this must be the the rate at which she is pouring is 30 milliliters. Okay, we'll write that down. So 30 milliliters in three minutes. Oops, I can spell minutes. All right, uh, three minutes. Now I could make that into a unit rate. We've talked about we've talked about those before. All right, we can reduce that. That would be 10 milliliters, and I'm going to abbreviate milliliters, in one minute. All right, and I could go even further, and I could say, well, that's 10, just a 10, 10 milliliters per minute. Okay, I can write it any way of those three ways. So it says write an equation to represent the total amount, or y, when they do this, they mean that's going to mean the total amount she can pour in x minutes. All right, so x is going to mean the number of minutes. Well, well, let's see. If she can write, write, or she can write, she can pour at a rate of 10 milliliters for every minute. So I would want to take 10, and I'd want to multiply by the number of minutes she's going to pour. So I'm going to put that x there. That would have to equal, well, the total amount that she poured. All right, so there's my equation that would describe this this situation here, okay? And I'm gonna gonna reference back to the the problem before. Is this in the form y equals mx plus b? And you can see, well, it really is. All right, we have uh, a y that matches up with this y here. We have our equal sign, and then we have a number that matches up with the m, and we have the x that matches up with this x right here. Now, we don't have another number out here, but that's okay. This really could be like plus zero out here. And if you add zero, well, you don't really have to write it, so we're just not putting it there, okay? So this is in the form y equals mx plus b, and it says, well, what is the slope? What is the slope of this equation? Well, if it's in the form y equals mx plus b, then the slope must be what is taking the place of the m. So the slope is 10. It's very easy. Okay, so th these are the kind of things we want to be able to do is we want to we take a, a, a situation like this, create an equation that describes it, I could graph it if I wanted to. I could put a, a, a graph up here and plug in some values for x and get a graph. And I can also tell you how fast she's filling up the beaker. She's filling it at a rate, right? A rate of 10 milliliters per minute, which is also my slope. I told you guys before that slope is gonna take many forms. In this case, it's taking the form of a rate, all right? So there you go, all right? And that's really all they want us to do there. So hopefully this is pretty straightforward. There, there are basically three different things we did. We, we graphed some equations and, and, and figured out their slope. We then took an equation and put it in the form y equals mx plus b and again, figured out the slope. And then we took this word problem and we created 
our own equation and said, okay, well, what's the slope, all right? And, and the key is we want to put it in the form y equals mx plus b, all right? So be prepared for, the, for this kind of thing tomorrow. Hope you have a good night. Thanks for watching. See ya.